Many of our campers feel that this is a safe haven. There is no rejection here. Take a risk, take a chance, make a change, and break away. An amazing thing is the creativity that comes out of them. We have youngsters who will not talk in front of a group of people, and yet will go on stage and sing and perform. I'm Lee Marone. Camp Lee Ma is my Shangri-La, a dream that I had in 1953. It caters exclusively to children and young adults with special needs. My name is Annie. I'm 20 years old, and this is my fifth year at Camp Lee Ma. It's so cool, especially Especially, I love going in the pool. The way we operated camp when we first opened, we are using the same objectives and expectations as today. No one here is allowed to use the word can't. If they use, I go, uh -huh. what did you say? Okay, all right, let's go. All right. <laughs> Congratulations, your birthday. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sweetheart. Okay. No pushing. Come on, girls. Okay. There, your picture is being taken right now. I came from a very, very strict Italian family. You learn to sit at the table and speak when you were spoken to. And I'm not interested in strictness for our youngsters. Do it with your mouth closed. Good job, Patrick. Good, you're trying. But that they have introspection and understanding. For instance, I don't have to tell my campers now, stop asking for everything you want on visiting day. And they know it's one or two things, not 22 things. Because we inculcate moderation, and appreciation for what they get and what they have. That's what the love is all about, that they can feel that someone loves them and cares for them, and it gives them a lot of security. So you're all peppy this afternoon. Well, I'm always peppy. Bless my staff. It's like we're in a, a different world. This is the Lima world. It's only kindness, caring, and sharing. And also we're very optimistic. We always believe that we have to take every, every kid out of the closet. And so many are really still to this day hidden and sheltered. And we're opposed to that. Our campers will outlive their parents. They may not go to college, but we want them to give back to society, we want them to get jobs, they have academics, they have speech therapy, they have all the things to give them what they need to survive in the real world. Welcome to our Founders Day, August 5th, 2012. My name is Ari Siegel, I'm the director and the owner. Uh, the summer of 94, I purchased camp from Lee Marone, and Lee and I have been together the last 20 years. Every year, they used to call it my birthday. And then I felt, well, let's not get into the age level. <laughs> so we named it Founders Day. And it just so happened that it also was my 60th year at camp and my 85th birthday. Lee, as well as myself, did not have a special needs child before we started. I was single when I got to camp. Um, a couple years into camp, I met my wife, Abby. We had our first child, Zachary and Zachary was born with special needs. He's globally delayed and he's a camper here. My son had a cerebral hemorrhage at three and was hemiplegic and uncontrolled epileptic. Ironic. You think you understand, but until you're a parent yourself, you really don't understand what the parents go through. I was overwhelmed with emotion and joy. I was happy to see all those happy faces. 
to be surrounded by all the successes, the people that came from very, very distant cities and states. Miguel was our chef for 15 years. Because they felt that camp had an impact on their life. We drove them all the way from Idaho to be here today. I'm not one that takes compliments readily. I feel that what I'm doing is what I'm supposed to be doing. My grandmother always said I should have been a missionary. And this is my mission. Everybody works together for the betterment of the children. And we are a big family here, and I think everybody counts on each other. And I think it's the, the love they have for our children makes a difference. Many of them are majoring in something related to special needs, or they have a family member with special needs, but there's some connection with special needs. I think that they, they care so much about our children. I think that's the difference, and that's the vibe you get. The children themselves are unbelievable. I don't think there's a place that children go to, like Lemar, where they feel so comfortable. We want them to sample life and we want them to be able to go out and be part of a community. And this is what I saw yesterday. Happiness, joy, appropriate social behavior, dancing. That was absolutely deliriously happy for me. My staff symbolizes Kaylil Gibran's philosophy about what the integrity of man is, to raise each person to the dignity and the image in which he was created. Hey, hey, hey.